So, the first things we want to do is I want to fix these ridiculous half done guys. Um, in the book it shows how his his beard is that orange, but it just doesn't work. So this is a good opportunity to show you that you can just about do anything. I mean, if you don't like something, you can just fix it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of water here. And I'm going to put it right there. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of black. And just, oh God, not even enough to... To do anything I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna mix that in and I'm gonna make it really 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 kind of thin and this probably isn't the best brush to do this with and that's okay we'll make it work so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over this brush and I was right that's not the right brush you want to get a fine thin point so we're gonna go back over here suck up some of that black and we're just gonna go over that just go over that beard part and you can see I'm gonna dip in here a little bit because if you watched any of my painting tutorials you'll see that if the paints too thin it's not gonna stick so there we go we're gonna go right over that and we're gonna take that right out so took and got rid of his beard and there's something else I see that we gotta fix we gotta fi fix his belt buckle so we're gonna put him down and then we're gonna come back over to this guy here and we're just going to clean off this brush a little bit. Get my paper towel. And we're going to take this brush, bring that over here. And where's the brush I was looking for? Right, there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back over his body with the earth shade. So I'm going to take that because I just don't like how his skin turned out because I was doing a rush job trying to basically just make it so he looked uh, I was trying to dry brush his skin and it just it just didn't work. So we're going to take and we're just going to go over everything and we're going to darken him up again make sure we get everything in the nooks and crannies like we normally do and we're just going to run a little bit of this on his pants so I want to darken those up a little bit because when I tried to dry brush those to show you guys because I didn't when we started doing this we were doing a technique that we weren't ready to really start highlight in a certain way so now that we got that darkened up we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll get these bows and squared away where they need to be so we're gonna start on some of these crew members here and what we're gonna do is the first thing we want to do is we want to get their base coat of their skin on and what we're gonna use for that is either a desert sand Americana or what I like to use is a Zandri dust because I think that is perfect for bone especially what we're looking to create so what I like to do is just take a, a smidge of it and with in this process here all we're trying to do get a little bit of water on that lighten that up a bit exactly what we're looking for and we don't have to be neat with this we're not looking to be neat 
All we want to do is get all the skeletal area. And there's a lot of it on his knees. And you can see I'm, I'm not being neat because we're going to go over it anyway. So you don't have to be exact. And you're going to see what I mean here. You can see his skeletons he has down here, his ankles, his feet, which he doesn't have any feet, and he's just standing on all these bones. And we're going to go over his ankle. We're going to go back over the shoe. And all we want to do is just make sure that we get a good covering of the Zandri dust on all the bone area. And you can see I'm getting there. As a matter of fact, he's missing some things there. <laughs> well, this guy looks like he's been through a bit of a, a twist, if I haven't, if I have to say so myself. Here's another skull. And let's just take a little more Zandri dust. Thinning out a little bit of water. There we go. Mix that in there real good. And just, yeah, there we go. Exactly what we're looking for. Good coverage. Not worried about anything else. All we want to do is just make sure that we got all these areas covered because we're going to do them up nice. There we go. All right, as you see, it looks like a mess right now. Don't worry. Don't worry, I have a way out of all of this. <laughs> At least I think. And this guy, and his skull, all we want to do is just, again, we don't have to be neat with this first coat. Uh, he's got gloves on, so we're not worried about that. You know, try to be as neat as you can because it's just going to save you later, but it's really not going to matter, this first coat here. Because all we're doing is just getting all that bone area and that skeletal area. And we just want to get it nice and covered. And finally, this poor guy, he looks like he's had a rough go of it. So hey, why not? Let's get him all juiced up. Uh, this video, I'm thinking because it's all a, a long video, that I might just do it all in six parts and show it when I can. Use it as a filler at some point. So when you guys see it, you'll see it. You know, he's, he's missing his boot. Got his legs out there. Alright. Alright, so we got the skeletons and we've got everything all painted up here. Oh, let's get the back. Here we go. Get the back of his arms. Get his hands again. We're looking for coverage. We're not looking to be exactly neat. And that's the best part. Because it all comes together. Everything fits together at some point. Alright. There we go. Alright, so. Now that we got that kind of, that beard kind of squared away, I want to take a very darkish gray. And all I want to do is I want to take it off my brush. So I'm putting it on, but I'm kind of wiping it off. So all we're going to do is just go over that. And I'd rather have him have a gray beard. than that putrid orange thing that was on there. And you can see that's lightening up a bit.
Then what I want to do, since we have him out, is we are going to take a little bit of Mephiston Red, shook that up a bit, and take and bring that out onto the palette. And I want to do, I want to apply it straight on. And I want to, I want to brighten up this sash that he has over the middle of him. Because I just didn't like the way that turned out. There we go. just get down there all right it's a little bit better we just got to fix that belt I think this guy be a lot better than what he was and we're gonna go over that beard one more time but with even a lighter gray so let's clean that up while we have that red out, because we're going to be using this Mephiston red, anyways, and we're going to put a bit of this out here. Take a just a drop of water. Remember what I said? Water is the solvent here, and you have the binder and the pigment, and you don't want to lose any of that. So now, whoops, wrong guy. That's what happens when I got the heavy glasses on. All right, so this guy's dress here is, well, not dress, but his vest is actually red. So we want to try to get as close as we can without touching the skin. Again, remember, start from the outside, work your way as close as you can and everything will come together and you can see that we're just taken and now we're going to come underneath here nice and easy and there we go it's starting to come together and then he's got a little bit here that we got to just be careful with and a collar for his vest and just ever so easy with the brush again if you mess up don't worry about it everything's fixable and then his midriff here uh, that's red We're going to get that, as well as this headband that's holding back his locks. I mean, how, how do you, how do you have dreads when you're dead? Maybe he's a deadhead. <laughs> Anybody get that? No. All right. It's okay. I'm old. You're not supposed to get my humor. If you do, there's a problem there. All right, there we go. So, let's just take care of the back end of this. And you can see we're making progress already, bouncing back and forth. And this is the key, is just know when you have a color out, don't waste the color. Be able to bounce back and forth and you know between the figures that you're working on and you can see I was able to take this red and not only just fix something I was looking to fix just making sure there was nothing on this guy I had to do but by taking that color and just going on see I forgot to do over there too there we go and just bounce back with the figures and try to get as much of the red you can. If you forget, that's, hey, 
happens to me like I said oh man I just had red but why waste the paint that you already have on on the on the palette and why not just use it up I see doesn't that look a heck of a lot better hmm let's zoom in on it a bit I mean you can see that we're starting to get a little bit better of what what we want to accomplish here that orange just really took away from it really really took away from the figure and it just uh I mean for me it just didn't work it did not work whatsoever all right let me tighten this up forgive me guys because I have my headset on so I can see what I'm doing here all right that guy's still drying that guy's drying that guy's drying that one's drying so we'll come back in a minute so here we are with the big man and what we want to do is we want to take the Keslev flesh or any kind of flesh that you particularly feel like using I'm actually using GW today because I'm trying to I don't want these paints to dry up on me so I'm kinda trying to use some of these up because I know what I'm getting for Christmas I'm getting one of those big paint sets I know it that and I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff because I'm spoiled you know, fantastic fantastic wife so now I've spoken about this in my in my uh, segments as of late doing flesh and all you want to do is I've got this watered down I don't want a lot on my brush but all I want to do is just go over his muscle um, his muscle fiber you see what I'm doing here I'm just taking and not taking out the wash all I'm doing, and you see, I don't even have this brush right. You want a nice tight point. This is what I talk about, is having a nice tight point on what you're trying to do. Now look at this here. See how his chest works out here? And you're not going to get it until, until after you do a couple of these areas. You know, you don't want to take out any of his uh, his wash that you have in there I'm gonna move to a smaller brush so I have a little more control For some reason I'm not seeing very well today all right there we go and all I want to do is I want to take and run see I made a mistake there but that's okay See how I, I, I dripped it over into that area? But I can fix that. It doesn't take much to fix that. And all I want to do is just take and work this in. And work it over here. Onto this side. Around his shoulder area. His stomach area. And I want to block it out. As you can see, and it's not going to look right right away. But all we're going to do is just keep blocking those areas out. Over here, you want to take the flesh and just stretch the muscle but not get it into see what I'm doing here all I'm doing is hitting the high points of the muscle see look at that area right there I don't hit the wash in here but I hit everything else. Don't hit down the middle of that spine, but work around the spine. And let me just get a drip more paint on here. And all we're doing 
again, making sure it's mix, mixing with the water. We're not losing anything there. This neck area. The top of the chin. The cheeks. Bridge of the nose. Top of his head. And you'll see where his facial expressions will start coming through. By not taking out where the wash head came in. And just see how we're working that in there. Working in the back. It's going to take more than one coat, that's for sure. If you don't get it, see right here where his trap is. Got to be very careful in here. And you can see that he starts to come together as we start to layer his skin on over the wash. And we put it down his trap here, down the other trap. Bring it into his neck. Over his forehead. And you can see that he really is starting to show signs that he's actually human. And then you want to also hit the fingers. Now you may have to do this once or twice, but it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna look right the first time you go over it. Cause you'll be like, oh wow, that looks like a mess. But as you softly go over this, it really starts to come together at a point. And you can see with his fingers here. See, that's where I want to take a little bit of the wash out where it's settled too much. There we go. Okay, it's changed. We want to make sure we got his knuckles. As it starts to dry, it all starts to make sense and come together. All right. Let's see what else we're working on here. All right, now we've got a little bit of lighter gray for his beard. And we're going to go over that. It's a little more haunting. I think that's a lot better than the orange that they had originally wanted to in there. Now we got one more thing to fix on this guy. And that's his belt buckle because that got washed out and I, again I was trying to show you a quick simple way I mean I got killed for it but I just wanted to fix these guys up the way I would do mine and we're gonna take some brass and we're gonna go and we're gonna bring that belt buckle out Boop. There we go. Got to have, got to have a good belt buckle. You know, what's the point of being a pirate unless you got a nice belt buckle? All right. And for Mr. Bosen, he's got the same thing going on here. So we want to make sure that we put his belt buckle on. Like I said, what's the point unless you got a good belt buckle? There we go. 
All right. A lot better. A lot, lot better. All right. Let's see what else we can work on. All right. Now, we're going to take our shade. And we don't have to worry about getting this shade all over the place because everything, every color on here kind of mixes in. And we're going to be cleaning it up anyway. So we're going to take our Serpium, our Serpium Septia, and really kind of get that into all the grooves there. As a matter of fact, we're going to get it all over them, to be honest with you. And and we're going to do it on this guy as well. Just really get it in there. And you can see how the bone starts to come together. I know you're saying, oh, well, it doesn't look that great. That's because we're not even close to being done with their bone, bony bones. And we're going to push that in. You can see it really darkens up that that color very quickly. Makes it kind of that ancient bonish look. You know, I got a little bit too much on my brush here, but that's all right. I will apply it elsewhere, such as here and here. You could just take it off the old model and just kind of work it in. There we go. Get it into those eye sockets so it dries real well. That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. We want that old bone look. And we're just going to pull that up a bit. Move that around. See how I got that in his eye sockets real well? Get it into the joints. And we're just going to absorb some of that. Make sure we get it really good into his mouth. And all over his boots. And into his disgusting chest. All right, we're well on our way, and uh, we're going to call this part one. So there you go, that's part one of Rum and Bones. We'll be back and have another part two. This will probably be a six-part series once I finish breaking it all up. Um, we're going to finish the crew for the undead, and then we're going to move on to the crew for the living. Um, so we're going to take care of those um, and we'll get them halfway and then what we'll do is we'll finish them up and then we'll start each side of the captains and then we'll do highlights on everything. So that's it for part one of Rum and Bones. I hope you stay tuned as there are quite a few parts to this and it's quite intricate. Um, and that's about it for now. See you soon.